rugby is very much like a, an escape, getting out, getting away from yeah, uni definitely. stress, stresses at home, just being able to just have that hour, two hours, just don't have to worry about anything. I'm Danny, I'm from a little town in North Wales called Real. I am treasurer of the rugby team this year and last year as vice president. I'm Alex, nickname in the rugby team's Silky. I come from Jersey, I'm vice president of the rugby club. I study sports strength and conditioning uh, at the university. It's a sports degree. <laughs> um, I study marketing and it is as boring as it sounds. <laughs> I've been playing since I was five years old and I've played for my local club. My dad played rugby when he was younger and just wanted me to get involved in it really. He's beat me by a year. I started playing when I was six. Same as Danny, played all the way, played for my club all the way to Colts, then obviously came to uni, started playing for the uni. Story time. So when I very first came to the university, he was the first person I met, and immediately it was just like, oh, do you play rugby? Like, yes, I do. Do you play rugby? And then just from there, obviously met each other through the club, since then just moved in together as housemates. I spend a lot of my free time playing rugby, and everything that comes around it, like volunteering, um, socials, whether it be drinking or sober socials, and do a lot of work for charity involved in the uni. I think we're pretty close all the time, obviously we live together and stuff, but on the pitch and in training and stuff, we get on as well as we do with just chilling in our house or on a night out, having fun with all our other friends that we play with. I think friendship is massive in a team sport, especially because you want to play for each other as well as play for the club that you're playing for. If you play with your friends, you're more likely to enjoy it and want to go back and play more. A team of individuals will not play nearly as well as a team of friends. Just hands down, I've very rarely seen a team where just one person will stand out and dominate the entire team. Everyone comes together. I, I know very well that Danny has a certain like certain flair, certain charisma that a lot of other people wouldn't be able to show in the friendship that we have at least. I think we bounce off each other quite well. Yeah. Well, with a lot of the inside jokes and stuff. Yeah. Danny is in every single ruck possible during a game. He has a very big impact with the team, plus he's got a very good like rugby knowledge of the game. I think having people in our team like myself and Silky have been playing for, what, 15 years or so, mm -hmm. then you know the game well and you're able to guide people and give them a bit more knowledge of the game. I don't think so, we'd have met or been even as close without rugby. All the inside jokes the team has, uh, me and Danny, ha Danny have <laughs> within the team, um, we wouldn't have that just being normal friends, yeah. really. I think it's taught us a lot of life skills as well, like right. being able to work in a team, like what elements of problem solving and just how to get on with it when it's not going your way really. Basically once we've gone out of the changing rooms, maybe after the night out, that's, that's it. Obviously we'll remember mistakes we made but we won't be looking to be negative about those mistakes, just like to improve them as a team. It's almost like addictive really, that's why I'd want to go back and play it more and more every time. Um, the feeling of being in a team and especially when you're winning and having a good time, it's so much better than anything else. 100%.